hello everyone uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos uh, please click on bell icon and subscribe for more updates please support me guys yeah guys today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, you know uh, this email uh, attachment yesterday we have seen how to send email notification uh, when uh, any iflow is fails due to some reasons uh, so today we are going to uh, you know, see the scenario like uh, uh, so from source I am receiving some XML data so I will convert into is a CSV file or CSV format just I want to send that a CSV file to uh, uh, some email uh, as attachment okay this is the requirement uh, today <coughs> we are going to see so in demo package I am going to create one uh, simple scenario guys please just follow me edit it just edit it and add iflow add iflow iflow name i am going to give email attach attachment okay email attachment so description also mentioned same and i have created one uh, this iflow and so uh, from not uh, sender sender I am giving some HTTP HTTPS okay and I am giving a email slash attachment email attachment okay and condition nothing and receiver side uh, receiver side i am going to give uh, i am going to take a email adapter in my mail adapter in mail adapter we have to give connectivity details and uh, these details right so go here and yesterday we have configured one nida already mail adapter i am taking same details here okay here give just smtp ts here plain user and password we have uh, maintained this user and password in security material already so same name i am taking here and go to <coughs> processing processing we have to give some pro you know sender and receiver mail ids here sender and this is the receiver mail id okay and here attachment some employee 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 uh, data attachments okay attachment employee data attachment something we can give the subject and here hi uh, team hi team please uh, find the attached employee uh, data file okay data file uh, mm -hmm. thanks suppose sap sf uh, team okay sf sf team attached okay attached team this is my scenario i have given this is the scenario okay and i have already prepared one xml file here guys uh, this is my uh, data okay uh, this is my xml data which i want to convert into csv file so for that what i will do here i will uh, take some conversions not here here converter from xml to csv converter xml to csv connector process give the path we have to give uh, source xsd path here so for this uh, path we have to prepare xsd as well uh, for this xml so i am going to create uh, one xsd for this we have uh, multiple online tools to convert xml to xsd converter go to converter and here give our xml data and generate the schema okay generate schema 
so schema generated copy and take this file save as will give like employee data dot xml okay employee data dot xml sorry not xml it is it should be xst so it should be xst training employee records dot xst i'll give xst okay employee records xml and we have to employee records employee this is xsd so sorry guys xsd i have taken yes i have changed this this xsd and xml both are prepared both we have prepared both are available so now i am going to take this uh, xst in our scenario i am going to upload references add schema xsd uh, here it is recordings training employee data yeah this is the xst okay and for this conversion we have to give the part here for here so we have to give here the path employee records slash and this record okay this path we have given this comma delimiter and see <coughs> we will check whether it is working or not okay start click on this simulation and copy the body this is the body i have prepared this uh, employee record already guys this employee records employee record 1 employee record 2 employee record 3 employee four employee records are there uh, these are them with the employee id employee last name employee last name employee country and employee salary so using these um, uh, you know field names i have prepared uh, this uh, employee record uh, uh, file uh, xml file or xml data whatever so i am going to simulate here uh, whether the conversion is happening properly or not okay so if you see the output go to body so conversion happened right a conversion uh, it 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 was uh, converted successfully into csv this is xml using this converter okay now we will going to test end to end and apply it apply it trace <coughs> uh, now for go to this content it is started here not started at this which one it is okay here it failed address field must be yeah saved and deploy deployed 
deploying it's starting it has been started and wait uh, let's wait for the you know endpoint here okay endpoint successfully generated now i am going to copy this endpoint and i will test the one scenario here give go here and take basic authorization okay go to body take raw and we will this is the record okay send it send yeah successfully sent okay now go to scenario now go to scenario here this is successfully completed right go to trace see successfully completed okay this is successfully completed and sent to receiver what is receiver here this one yeah attachment also. see here just email body came email attachment in attachment not available so we have to include uh, this email attachment in our uh, email right in our email so for that what i will do so after success successfully conversion of uh, this body this body right we have to send as a cs file attachment to receiver email no for that what i will do go here and go to processing type and go down down here you can see attachments go here add attachment you can give any name here i will give employee data dot csv employee data dot csv here we have multiple types of uh, data we can send through here so i am taking csv file why because we have converted csv you can send xml data zip file data json data html plain text data and csv so in our scenario we are going to send uh, some csv data source from where we have to take from header or body body so i will give here i will i will select sources body so it will take the body okay body as attachment it will give the attachment name as employee data dot csv and it will send to email so now i will deploy it again okay i have deployed and wait for the successful deployment pop up so it has been successfully deployed now again i will uh, resend the same data so this is now successful so we will check the email body as well go here see now we have received attachment employee data dot csv right employee data dot csv attachment also we have received we can download it and we can check the data as well okay go here csv data see csv data i will we will cross verify this is the first record employee id is 123 and uh, first name is gopi second name is k third name is uh, third uh, uh, employee country is in india and salary so like that ram mohan and mohammed and varnika so for all employees records we have uh, converted into csv file and we have send it as a attachment to the email now <coughs> here our client will accept header also like uh, employee id employee first name employee last name Uh, employee country and employee salary like this header uh, first field should be some header uh, uh, you know parameter should have so in that case what i will do i'll go here and i will just select the include header option in uh, while converting xsv and csv uh, X, uh, xml to csv file just include field name as header field name as header in the sense it will take this field name and it will Uh, put this name in as a header name okay that we will see practically now save and deploy save and deploy 
so let's wait for the pop up successful yeah it is successfully completed now i will send it again okay successfully sent right now i have received one more email like this employee id okay now i will download it downloaded successfully i opened it see header names came employee id employee first name employee last name employee country employee salary when you cross verify with the uh, xml it should be same 1234567891234 okay here gopi ram mohammad vanika gopi ram mohammad vanika okay fancy so like this <coughs> we can attach so my client will ask uh, you know like uh, uh, one minute so we are receiving the data with employee data dot csv my client will ask employee data underscore underscore some timestamp so whenever it is generated that timestamp dot csv i will expect expect so how can we add timestamp to this uh, csv file name we will see now okay go here and uh, go to mail okay so here go to processing and here go here here <coughs> at file name underscore we have to give uh, here uh, date stamp we have standard date stamp in cpa this is the date stamp i am going to give this uh, this uh, date stamp here now we will we will test again okay save and deploy it and wait for the pop up successful yeah received successful pop uh, successful pop up now we are going to uh, test it again mm, testing it yeah this is successful now we will see the email attachment again we have received one more email attachment see guys we have received the email with the timestamp right 2024 okay this is the way to <coughs> you know uh, uh, send the uh, email attachment to the particular email okay as a body you can send any kind of data like csv file or text text file plain text file or xml file or any json file uh, like this we will send the attachment to guys okay thanks for watching for my videos guys please subscribe share and ask your friends and colleagues to subscribe my channel please support me guys thanks for watching bye